So the Most High is going to turn back the captivity of his Israelites because he's the person that put us in captivity under the so-called white man, under the so-called Africans, under the so-called um, Arabs, known as Arabics, all right, slash Muslims. All right, we've been in slavery from, from all you guys. All you guys was in one consent to put us in slavery, including you, you Asians, you so-called Asians, you uh, uh, Moabites, you Chinese, and you... Ammonites, you Japanese, and the, and the many families that come out of y'all. You guys all, with one consent, helped put us in slavery also. So all of you, all nations will be going into slavery for putting the Most High's children into slavery. And even though he gave you the power to do it, gave you the command to do it, he shall punish you for it. Now, is that fair? Yes, it is. Because he could do what the fuck he wants. He did what the fuck he wanted to us. And I don't hear nobody uh, fucking say anything about that. The only people that says anything about what the hell he did to us is us. The white man say he's trying to wipe that shit out of the fucking uh, history books. So in public school, your child is not even going to know that his ancestors were slaves here. They're trying to cover that shit up, which is lies. They don't, they don't want the truth. They want to lie to you. That's why the covenant not given unto, unto all people, but the Israelites and a specific number, a specific people of the Israelites too. Not all nations. Not all Israelites. All right. Uh, yeah, you got Micah, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is Micah 7 and what was that? 7 and 14. 14. Says, feed thy people with thy rod, the flock of thy her the flock of thy heritage, which dwell solitary in the wood, um, in the 14. midst of Carmel. Let them feed in Bashan, what's that? Bashan mm -hmm. and Gilead, as as in the days of old, according to the days of thy coming out of the land of Egypt. Will I show will I show him marvelous things? The nations shall see and be um, confounded at mm -hmm. all their might. They shall lay their hands upon their mouth, their ears shall be deaf. They shall lick the dust like a serpent. They shall move out of their holes like worms out of the earth. They shall be afraid of the Lord our power and shall fear because of thee. Now, it stated that it was the Lord, our power. It didn't say it's the Lord, everybody's power. Mm -hmm. The Lord, everybody's God. All right. All right you got that in uh, Zechariah? 14. Yep. Right on the top. Yep. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee. For I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle. And the city shall be taken, and the house is rightful. And the woman ravished, and half of the city shall go forth into captivity. And the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. And his feet stand in what and his feet stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem on the east, and on the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west, and there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north, and half of it toward the south, and ye shall flee toward the valley of the mountains, for the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azal, yea, yea, ye shall flee, like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Judah. Uzziah king of Judah, mm -hmm. and the Lord my God shall come, and all the saints with thee. And it shall come to pass in that day that the light shall shall not be clear nor dark. But it shall be one day which shall be known to the Lord. Today nor today nor night, but it shall come to pass that at evening time it shall be light. And it shall be in that day that living waters shall go out from Jerusalem, half of them toward the former sea, and half of them toward the hinder sea. And summer and in winter shall it be. And the Lord shall be king over all the earth. And that day shall there be one Lord and his name one. Mm-hmm. And that day there should be one Lord and his name one. Now, that's only because the only the people that's going to have it are the Israelites. We're the only ones that's going to be alive. Come. 
That's why his name is going to be one, because we all going to have the same name. Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You ain't going to be able to hear the name Jesus. You got more on that? All the land shall be turned as a plain from, from Geba mm -hmm. to Ramon, south of Jerusalem. And it shall be lifted up and inhabited in her place from Benjamin's gate unto the place of, her, of the first gate, unto the corner gate, and from the tower of Hananiel unto the king's winepress. Mm -hmm. And men shall dwell in it, and there shall be no more utter destruction, but Jerusalem shall be safely inhabited. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, mm -hmm. and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And it shall come to pass that in that day a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against, against the hand of his neighbor. And Judah also shall fight at Jerusalem, and the wealth of all the heathen round about shall be gathered together, gold and silver and apparel in great abundance. And so shall, and so shall be the plague of the horse, of the mule, of the camel, and of the ass, and of all the beasts that shall be in these tents, mm -hmm. as this plague. And it shall come to pass that every one that is left of all the nations which came against Jerusalem. Shall go, shall even go up from one year to from year to year to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. and to keep the feast of tabernacles. Mm -hmm. And it shall be that whoso will not come up, all the families of the earth to unto Jerusalem to worship the king, the Lord of hosts, even upon them shall be no rain. And if the family of Egypt go not up and come not, they have no rain. There shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite the heathen that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. And this shall be the punishment of Egypt and the punishment of all nations that come not up to keep the feast of tabernacles. And that day shall they be upon the bells of the horses, holiness unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the pots in the Lord's house shall be like the bowels before the altar. Yea, every pot in Jerusalem and in Judah shall be holiness unto the Lord of hosts. And all they that sacrifice shall come and take of them, and see it therein, and in that day there shall be no more the Canaanite in the house of the Lord of hosts. Hmm. Which means the South Africans are going to get wiped out. So in our kingdom, you're not going to hear us talking about all you need is just, just 50 cents, just 35 cents a day. You won't hear none of that shit in our kingdom, and you ain't going to see that shit. All right, because the Most High is gonna wipe out the Canaanites. So those are three nations that's gonna get wiped the fuck out, starting with the Edomites, the Canaanites, and the Ammonites. So the so-called white man, the South Africans, and the Japanese are all being wiped out. The Chinese, y'all going into slavery like a major way, just like Esau, because y'all never hit a slavery, just like Esau never hit slavery before. You're going to go into it now. You got it, brother. Yeah. Go ahead. This is Psalms. 105 and 42, right? Mm -hmm. It says, For he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant, and he brought forth his people with joy, and his chosen with gladness, and gave them the land of the heathen. Mm -hmm. And they inherited, the, they inherited the labor of the people, that they might observe his statutes and keep his laws. Praise ye the Lord. Huh. So you have to keep the Most High's laws and, and, and surface statues. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead. For the Lord has for the Lord has chosen Jacob unto himself and Israel for his peculiar treasure. Mm hmm And jump down to verse twelve. Yep. And their land for an inheritance. Salaki and their land for an heritage, an inheritance unto Israel, his people. Thy name, O Lord, endure forever, and thy memorial, O Lord, throughout all generations. Huh. For the Lord will judge his people, and he will repent himself concerning his servants. Huh. So the Lord is going to judge who? His people. And he didn't say that the Lord is going to judge all people. 
the Lord is going to judge his people. The 144,000 are, are set up judges to judge the children of Israel. All right. So we judge ourselves. We judge other Israelites. There's nothing wrong with that. That's why the scripture says, uh, uh, judge not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment. Mm -hmm. This is a covenant unto Israelites. So if you're not an Israelite, please stay the fuck off our channel. If you are an Israelite, go ahead and, and learn, man. Learn as much as you can, because once this shit pops off, I ain't going to say a motherfucker. If you ain't learned from me from the past, you ain't going to learn from me in the future. Because I'm going to keep my fucking mouth shut. And the only people that, that's around here that's going to get anything from me is the brothers that I've been dealing with. The rest of these motherfuckers here in Rochester, y'all ain't getting shit. All right? Because you're even though you're an Israelite, you're not really an Israelite because you... Would rather be an American, an African American, a black, uh, a Negro, a nigga. You rather be a fucking coon for the white man and, and and run up and down instead of keeping the covenant unto the Most High, and be His servant, be blind and be stupid for Him. That's why the Scripture says the foolishness of preaching is going to what is is the thing that's going to save people by the foolishness of preaching because the world thinks that we're fools going out there on the highways and the byways breaking down scriptures giving you uh, sit downs in giving our you, garments con, con, <laughs> and giving you uh, uh, um, um, words for you to go ahead and search for yourself so you see that we're not lying to you unlike the white man who don't tell you to search for himself he tells you just trust what the fuck the doctor say but then when the doctor prescribes you some fucking ass medicine you can't even sue the doctor you have to sue the manufacturer but without the doctor giving you the fucking medicine in the first place you wouldn't even know about it neither could you get your hands on it all right so this is a covenant unto Israel. Everybody else, you keep your covenant from the world because that's what y'all love, the covenant of the world. And with that, we're going to say shalom. All power, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone for showing us this great truth. And shalom and salutations to our brothers in the four corners pumping out this truth with sincerity, long-suffering, and longevity. Shalom, my kyam.